Now, some of the stories moving up across the internet. Joining me is Zara Rabinovitz from Stuff Magazine. Good evening to you. Good evening. Darren Bentz got into some Twitter trouble. What's, tell us about that. Yes, he had. Well, the Tottenham Hotspurs player has been looking to leave for quite a while now. And as you can understand, the deal with Sunderland is taking some time. So he's frustrated. He wants to moan about it. But he decides not to complain to his friends, to complain on Twitter, which can be read by millions of people and has caused the club some embarrassment. And his Twitter page has mysteriously disappeared, I understand. It Is has. that right? They've also said they're not sure it was him who tweeted. It could have been somebody else, but again, that's quite suspect. OK, now putting gang signs in photos on your MySpace or Facebook accounts, is this something you've done? No? I'm not quite sure what a gang sign looks well, like Well, uh, exactly. neither am I, but, uh, <laughs> but apparently it could get you in trouble with the law, is that right? Yeah, a recent Florida state, um, sorry, all of Florida, just changed the tribute, which basically means if you use electronic media to promote gangs, you can be arrested. And they recently got 15 people who'd had all sorts of different things posted on social media sites. But it does bear the question, does this mean police are now going onto Facebook, going onto MySpace and finding inflammatory material? What about free speech? Well, I think we're talking serious gangs here, though, aren't we, rather than just, like, you know, a few mates. This is it's true. Uh, serious stuff. Uh, talk about the, uh, on the internet about Jude Law. Yes, well, What's Jude, the story? Jude Law is going to be having another baby. Not with Sienna Miller this time. It's with an actress called Samantha Burke, who he met at Christmas and had a nice little dalliance with. And that's pretty much the story. He's very uh, anti-paparazzi uh, and media intrusion, isn't he, Jude Law? Yeah, and this woman seems to quite welcome it. In fact, she's um, claiming not just child maintenance, but she wants a percentage of her salary for the rest of her life, which seems a little bit unfair, but as you do. Now, in the gallery tonight, they've been uh, very concerned about this next story. Uh, Lads Mag's websites are having a fox hunting ban. Tell us about that. Well, Megan Fox, obviously quite famous for tending to overexpose her body, obviously to all the lads' mags' enjoyment, but they've decided the internet has potentially been overexposed to her, so for one whole day, then no website is going to feature her in any form of undress whatsoever. The idea behind this means that, you know, clearly missing Megan Fox for one day will then boost her popularity even more and stop people getting tired of her. <laughs> and finally, uh, there's anger over parking tax. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, Nottingham Council is going to be having a trial um, parking tax for workplace parking, which is quite outrageous, to be honest. The idea is to clear up congestion in the city and fund the new tram lines. But what it means is workplace parking will cost employers from £185 to £250 per person per space, which might be passed on to the employees. We don't know yet. There's a lot of blokes watching this who haven't listened to any of that. They're still thinking about the Megan Fox story. But thank yeah. you for running <laughs> us through all of those. Zara Rabinovitz from Stuff Magazine. Thanks thank for joining you. us. Cheers. On our website, you can click this button to watch live online for all the links we've been talking about on Sky News. Stop.